Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to answer a question that some people ask. Why my back isn't breathing? Some people have backs that are there dormant. So, first of all, I advise you to keep two backs on your farm. Just in case. You shouldn't have one back on your farm because in case it has failed to breed, you won't be breeding any rabbits because you have one back. So it's best to keep two rabbits, two backs. A back is a male rabbit. So keep two backs on your farm so that when this one cannot do the job, this one should be able to do the job. The other thing is your rabbit may not be breeding because it's not yet mature enough to breed. You may be trying to breed a young rabbit. And to avoid this issue, sometimes you don't check. Like, okay, you, you maybe you are told or you know from earlier that this is a male rabbit. But you have to make sure that it is, its reproductive sac has extended down. There is a video of how to tell the sex of a rabbit. You should watch it so that you can tell what i'm talking about you should be able to tell when you flip your rabbit between the legs the behind legs you should tell the sack should be extended it should be it shouldn't be hidden okay it, it should be hanging off the body that's when you can tell that that one is a mature back another thing is you, you should try to have a mature back that has already given you offsprings from the farm. Among those two bucks I told you, um, the two that you should keep around, make sure one of them is really, really mature and it has given you off offsprings before. It has fathered babies before. Because there you, you're very sure that your rabbit can breed and it has experience. So as the other one is trying to learn, maybe this one should be able to Come in whenever you need it. Sometimes um, it is advisable to keep the doe that you want to breed next to the, the, the cage of the male rabbit of the back. The, the, in fact, even if you don't want to breed it at that time, just it is advisable to keep a doe next to a back's cage. This one is uh, a bit problematic because the back will always want if you find an active back it will always want to breed and it will be scratching so make sure that the separation between those cages is secure otherwise you wake up one day and this rabbit was able to go to the to the next cage okay but make sure it's say it's secure and just keep a female rabbit next to a male rabbit to keep the male rabbit which is the back in the mode for breeding this will help so that whenever you want it is already in the mode you know now if you're breeding um, a shy back for the first time or just a shy back it may not be its first time but you know rabbits have personalities so you can tell that oh this male back is shy i've seen it myself um Anyway, if you're breeding such, um, bring a, a, a rabbit, because we have some females, the does, that are stubborn, and they are not really, really, they, they don't love, okay, they, they keep running around, the breeding them is hard, okay? So, but you also have those ones that are so easy, and they agree, they know what they're supposed to do, when you take it there, it will do its job, and it will leave. So use such a rabbit when you're breeding a shy back, a shy, inexperienced back. Bring a rabbit that doesn't put up a fight, okay? So that breeding would be a bit smoother. Another thing is some rabbits don't like being watched. Rabbits are shy animals. Naturally, rabbits are shy animals. It's just that we've domesticated them. And you force them to do things when we are looking at them, we feed them, and some give birth when we are there with cameras and what, but they would prefer to be private. 
Anyway, some bugs are shy still. They don't want to be looked at. When you're watching, it will just keep looking at you. Hmm? What's your what's going on? Why are you there? And it won't do its job. So what you do when you take your door there, stand somewhere where the rabbit cannot see you, but where you can see the rabbit. Because when you're breeding, you have to be there to, to be sure that you've seen a fall off, to be sure that the breeding was successful. I'll make a video about breeding and how you know if the breeding was successful. But you have to be there to watch. So for you to do that, be out of sight for the rabbit. It shouldn't see you, but you should be able to see what's going on so that you don't interrupt the breeding. Another thing, um, take care of your back well. Like, um, bugs should be kept in a cool environment. Extreme heat can, can cause your rabbit to become sterile, like infertile, if you may. It may not be able to breed anymore, okay? So make sure it is not under very, very hot conditions. So this goes back to housing. Now for us, luckily for us in Uganda, we don't have extreme hot weather where like it's, it's not as hot as it is in the summer, the so-called summer we hear of. For us, we, we can have during hot seasons, the sun will shine the whole day, but in the evening it will become cold. So we are lucky that way. But still, when you're, when you're constructing your cages, make sure that the cages are not totally closed off. Don't get iron sheets and build iron sheets everywhere, like, you know, all the, all the, 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 the size of the cage. You build the cage covered with iron sheets, sides, front, back, and the door, you know, roof, whereby there is no fresh air coming in at all you wouldn't stay in this in, in in a cage like that or in a house like that would you or maybe if you did you wouldn't be comfortable you would be suffering from a lot of heat and discomfort so don't do that for the rabbit make sure that it has free air to breathe and to have cool cool breezes okay so so that you protect your rabbit your back and keep it productive Another thing is you should keep your rabbit active. Like your breeding back should be active. If you leave it dormant, uh, the sperms may become useless. It may not have fresh sperms. If you keep it uh, active, 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 doing this job active, it will have a good supply of fresh sperms. And that will, will prevent it from being sterile. So keep your back active. Keep your breeding back active. And also feed your rabbits well. You know, like, make sure it has a balanced diet. Make sure it has water. Make sure it's comfortable. You know how the, the males can be there all relaxed. If you don't have a stubborn back, that is. You need to be just relaxed and calm. You know, with good weight, just ready to do its job. So just feed your rabbit well. If your rabbit is healthy, it will definitely produce healthy sperms. It will definitely do its job. And of course, healthy, like in terms of sickness too. If your rabbit is sick, it will not be interested. No, it won't be interested. Another thing is, you make sure that you separate rabbits, mature bugs. Bugs, it is just, it is a rare case. Like for me, I have two rabbits. I sold them off, but I had them. They were from the same father. Okay, the same that one was the, the father and one was kind of like a grandchild. Okay. So this one, they were like, this one was the uncle. Anyway, they were living, they were in separate cages. 
but I would find when one of them has pushed the head through through the, 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 the mesh, the wire mesh that was separating them and separating with this big wire, this big wire mesh. And the head wasn't fully, of course, through, but whichever part was through was it would put it in the next cage and then the other back would be next to this part that is here. They would be so close together and, you know, even grooming, it would part, groom that part. So I would watch them and they lived so peacefully together and yet they were in separate cages. They were not fighting because I have some back that I used to have. If it had any, any hole at all, it would reach the other one. It would catch it off guard and bite it and bite it was stubborn. So normally backs don't like sharing. Even when you have babies, uh, okay, a bit more of a adult, growing adult, like three months, three, four months, you start seeing fights. That's when you start separating rabbits. Whichever rabbit grows fast and starts feeling mature, would want to start, you start seeing it marking the territory, marking the territory and trying to fight off and chase off all the other males in the cage because they don't like sharing so make sure you separate your rabbits because if you don't they will fight and if you watch rabbits fighting especially the males they go for one part and one part only unless it is mad and it just grabs on anything that it gets but they normally if they want to destroy the opponent they go for one part only, and that's the tests, the test holes. So I've seen a wounded rabbit. It was wounded. It took time, but it healed luckily. But some don't heal. They are wounded severely, and they don't heal. And you lose, you may lose a very good breed to that, to some fight. So protect your rabbit, protect your breeding rabbit from any fights, from any wounds make sure it's healed don't expect it to breed when it has a severe wound like that even if it wasn't damaged the goods were not really damaged but there's a wound next to the goods i don't think it would be in the good breeding mode so just make sure your rabbit is healthy and then you breed all right um thank you for watching the video subscribe share and like comment please if you have any other points to add on this one you can always comment if you have any issues if you have if i've made a mistake because i'm a human being i may make a mistake um if you don't agree with what i've said just engage with me comment so that i can know also you can comment and let me know which other video you would want me to make